Why am I dressed like this? And what am I doing at Stockholm Central Station trying to give away crappy gifts to random strangers? Well, there's a reason for all of this, I promise. But first, let me tell you about Swedish Easter traditions. Easter is the oldest of the Christian holidays. It's from 100 AD and it's based on an even older Jewish tradition. But in Sweden it's a weird mix of religious celebration and folklore to celebrate the coming of spring. The week leading up to Easter is called uh, the Quiet Week in Swedish and it starts with the Palm Sunday. It's uh, pretty much the same as in all other countries, but in Sweden we have feathered Easter branches that we bring indoors. The branches symbolize the palm leaves that were spread before Jesus as he walked into Jerusalem. We don't really have that many palm trees in Sweden, so we take what we have. After Sunday comes Monday, and we call that Blue Monday or Sausage Monday, or Black Monday. Apparently Swedes can't make up their minds. And after that comes a White Tuesday. That's when you're supposed to wash your sheets. For reasons? Clapper Wednesday is next. On that day you're supposed to put pieces of cloth around the clappers in bells to make them silent. It's supposed to be a very silent day. And Good Friday. That's not a Good Friday, it's the Long Friday in Swedish. I'm guessing it's because you sit in church all day and it's really boring, it never ends. And why is it called Good Friday in other languages? That doesn't make any sense. What's so good about crucifying Jesus? You people are weird. But I skipped one day, the Thursday. Depending on how you interpret the Swedish word, it either means the cutting Thursday or purification Thursday. And it's a pretty cool day. This day is like a Swedish and Finnish Halloween dating back to the mid 1800s. On this day kids dress up as Easter witches and give hand drawn cards to people and expect a little bit of money in return. So let's give this a shot. I mean a grown man dressed really strangely giving out crappy presents. What could possibly go wrong? Now that is one tough crowd. Oh look at this, I think I found a black cat for my witch outfit. At Easter it was believed that the witches flew to Blåkulla to dance and party with the devil. On the west coast of Sweden they used to have bonfires and firecrackers to scare away the witches. But uh, that's on the west coast, you can't trust the west coast, those people are strange. But the fun doesn't stop on purification Thursday. After Good Friday comes the proper Easter celebration. Just like in other countries, Easter in Sweden is full of colors and chickens and bunnies and uh, feathers and all of that jazz. It's a festive time to celebrate celebrate the coming of spring after months and months and months of dreary snow and darkness. And of course, people look for easter eggs that are hidden by the easter bunny. But did you know that the easter bunny is actually a deformed lamb? There was a Jewish tradition to make easter breads that look like lambs. Well, except they didn't really look like lambs. People thought they looked more like rabbits or hares. And thus the easter bunny was born. And there's lots and lots of candy at easter of course. Let me show you some pictures of candy. In case you're not hungry yet, you're gonna be after this. <laughs> And speaking of eating, another tradition is the Easter smorgasbord. And what do you eat at Easter in Sweden? Exactly the same thing as on all other holidays. At Christmas you eat potatoes and herring and sausages and meatballs and some other stuff. At Midsummer you eat potatoes and herring and sausages and meatballs and some other stuff. So can you guess what you eat at Easter? But you add some eggs as well. And there's drinking as well. People always drink in Sweden. And they sing as well. But I'm not gonna demonstrate that today. Uh, people are staring at me quite enough already. If you want to see an example of Swedish drinking songs, you'll have to watch my midsummer video instead. Oh, and speaking of drinking, I have to mention the Swedish postmust. It's vile and horrible, but if you mix it with some vodka, it goes down a little bit easier. And look at this label. I don't really have any other way to describe it than a small girl right Riding a big cock. Anyway, by the time you see this, I'll probably be drunk and stuffing myself with candy. Leave a nice Easter comment for me, or tell me how wrong I am about everything. But either way, like and subscribe, but most importantly, have a great day.